Greetings, I'm Ms. Kingsley, and in this video, we're gonna be going over third grade, Mountain Math, set nine, problems 13 through 16. So as usual, you should be doing these problems first before I show you. So this is, has a lot of data here. This is called a picture graph. And a picture graph tells us information by including pictures, and in this case, the picture is of a little person, which they say each picture is one student. And the question is, which is the favorite season? So they have our four seasons here, and we're going to look at which one more students voted for than any of the others. And so we look at who has the most students here, and it's clearly fall. They don't even ask us how many, so we're done. Our answer is fall. Now, you're not done. You need to write a question using the data from the graph. How might you write the, a question that's different than what is the favorite season? You could write which is the least favorite season, or you could ask how many students prefer, I don't know, summer. You pick the question, make sure you come up with an answer to go with your question. Okay, let's go on to number 14. Number 14 is our area and perimeter problem. Doesn't look too difficult today. So they give us a shape here. Let's remember that area is equal to length times width, and it is measured in square units. So when they show us the square units, this is one square unit. That's what I mean by square unit. You could just count them or you could use our uh, equation to solve it. So, and then perimeter is we plus the sides. Let's do area first. So area is all the space in the middle, and let's just go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 square units. And the other way I teach my students you can write this is 16 units with a superscript two. We say units because it doesn't tell us inches or feet or whatever. Okay, plus the sides. Okay, the size is here. So if I was gonna start and finish in one place, I have to find out what is the distance around this shape. And to go around the shape, I need to know what is the length. When I'm counting the length there, I am counting just the side of the square. So I'm counting, this is one, two, three, four length in length, four units in length, and we'll put that here. And if I go around and count each side, I'm gonna see it's four by four by four. Okay, so now if I add these up, perimeter is equal to four plus four plus four plus four. And let's add that together. And we get 16. That's very unusual, by the way, to get perimeter and area with the same number. But this time it's just units. And if we wanted to go back and check, did we have area correct? We could say four times four, yes, equals 16. All right, so that's this one. So when you're dealing with a square area and perimeter, give you some interesting answers. Okay, number 15. The soccer field is 64 meters wide and 100 meters long. What is the area of the field? As you might remember, I like my students to do a drawing when they're solving word problems. So this would be 100 meters and my shorter side is 64 meters. Write the equation and solve. We have area equals length times width. So we have area equals 100 times 64 equals. So we're gonna do this the way we have learned how to multiply with powers of 10. So I have one times 64 is 64, and I'm gonna add that many zeros. So I have a final area for my field of 
6,400 meters squared, or you could write square meters. Either way. Okay? Good. On to the last one. And this is the last one for our set. Okay, so we have a shape here, and they want us to name the shape and then decide is it flat or and two dimensional or three dimensional. So this shape is what it looks like. It's called a star. We're going to call it a star polygon to help people know that we're talking about a flat object and it is flat, which means we're over here. It's two dimensional. It's not like an ice cream cone or a cube, something that um, has three dimensions to it. So in terms of the number of surfaces, it's just the flat surface is one surface. The number of sides we have to count carefully. So I always like students to start in one place. Let's say I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna count the sides and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to the beginning, eight. So I have eight sides. I also have eight angles, and I'm going to show you what those are. Those are a little hard to see. So I have this angle, which is called an acute angle. It's very narrow. Then this over here, <clears throat> this is actually another angle. So I have one. This is an obtuse angle. It's very wide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. So that one is a little tricky in third grade. You'll learn more about that later. Okay, that is it for our problem set. Oh, I got one more thing to do down here. I almost forgot. Okay, it's asking, is it a parallelogram? Parallelogram means, are there two parallel sides on my flat shape? Nope. Quadrilateral means, does it have four sides as a uh, polygon? Nope. It has eight sides. Rhombus, well, we'll come back to that another day. That's a different shape. And is it a polygon? Yes. So that's the only one we get to circle today. Okay, glad I didn't forget that completely. All right, that is it for today. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you another time. Bye.